is uh I'm just going full real quick. But the weird thing about Dreamcast is uh the way that the arcade stick is, it doesn't register as a regular controller. So you can't actually use it in every game. So unless a game is compatible with it, it won't register it and you can't use it. But, um, yeah, so this is like arcade stick, jump pack, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I'm sure most of you guys read my pace bin earlier, so I'm kind of embarking on a new thing. I'm just calling it Deuce Cast. And, um, I'm collecting a, a full North American Dreamcast library. And so I figured while I'm collecting all the games, I might as well beat them. Because I am a collector per se, but every game that I buy, I buy it to play it. So um, there's 271 North American releases. 273 if you count like the Sonic Adventure limited edition and stuff like that, which I'm not. Um, I currently own 65 of the 271, so I have a long way to go yet. Um, but for the time being, I'll, I'll be playing games as I collect them. Um, like I said in my pacement, if you guys read it, I really, really don't want this to be like a, hey, look, I'm streaming Dreamcast, give me money kind of thing. I just want to share Dreamcast. And judging by what you guys are saying, a lot of people don't know that much about the Dreamcast. In my opinion, it's one of those systems that it has an underrated library in the sense that it doesn't have very many games, but it has a lot of really good games. It has a lot of really shit games, too. There's a lot of sports titles, and there's a lot of like wonky-ass shit that, that we'll get to see, but um, there's just a lot of really good arcade ports, and um, it was a really powerful system for the time, and it's really underrated. But the game we're starting with is Cannon Spike. And I'll show you guys a little cover art. Um, Cannon Spike is a Dreamcast console exclusive. It was released in the arcade uh, in Japan under the name Gun Spike. And um, Kami from Street Fighter stars in the Dreamcast one. So that's why they changed the name to Cannon Spike. If you guys are familiar with Kami, that's kind of her go-to move. Um, one reason I didn't start this earlier was um, I'm kind of a, a nut about video quality and I um, got a Toro, which is a VGA and RGB box from Bahar Bros. There's some custom builders in Turkey. There are two brothers that make Dreamcast um, accessories for video quality. They actually have one called the Akira that I'm trying to get now that's an HDMI box. It outputs in 480p. Um, so one reason I couldn't do some games is there's 21 different titles that aren't eligible um, for RGB output, which for whatever reason, like Skies of Arcadia and Giga Wing are both games that you can't play in RGB, you have to play in VGA. Um, I'm currently streaming this in VGA too, once we get there. But yeah, so I could go on about tech shit all day on Dreamcast, but um, yeah, so Cannon Spike, known as Gun Spike in Japan. Um, I know about this game, I've never actually played it, so I'm pretty pretty stoked to fire it up. Um, most of the characters that are in the game, we'll switch over there, are from Capcom games, like Kami obviously here, and then um, Shiba is actually the only character on this roster that isn't featured in another game. He's only in Cannon Spike and he's not in anything else. Um, so I don't know who I'm gonna play as yet. There's multiple difficulties. Um, I am assuming I'll just probably play on normal for the time being. Shot, attack, and mark. I don't know what mark is, but we'll probably figure it out. But yeah, like I was saying, it's weird because the arcade stick doesn't register as a controller. It actually registers as the arcade stick. Um, so really the only way around that is to use like a Cthulhu or something like that, which I plan on making an arcade stick for shmups that's compatible with my Saturn, my 360, um, my Dreamcast, everything. Um, 
and there's custom ways to do that so i'll make a custom one but i like having the green goblin for now oops um so there's a gallery so that's cool score ranks game data um i guess i'll play on normal i don't really know i don't want to play on anything too crazy and that seems to be kind of middle of the road <clears throat> three credits so very arcade style this track is pretty damn sick all right, so Charlie is from uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3, okay. I want to say. Oh, apparently I'm Charlie. <laughs> uh, I guess just for... Okay. Okay, so when you shoot, you kind of strafe. Yo, that sound effect. Yo, what up, Zach? My boy, howdy. Okay. Whoa, dude. Holy shit. Oh, nice. Okay, so Mark is just that. Uh, if you mark an enemy, I don't. I wonder if that does any like extended damage. But you stay locked on, basically. But um, I am. Oh, dude, boss rush the game or what? Oh, so that's like a melee attack. Weird. So what? I'm I'm still not like oh okay. A little bullet hell. I'm still not convinced what marking is doing for me. <laughs> Very arcade feel, dude. So I wonder if marking, like, does more damage? I, I doubt it does more damage, but you lock into a strafe anyway. Like, yeah, interesting, okay. I guess in large groups you can pick off enemies easily. You gotta read the manual. Nah. Yo, are those the Resident Evil dogs? Jesus, dude, the health. Uh, not very aggressive. <laughs> oh shit, what was that? Bio Gorilla Bloody. Oh shit, he's fast! Ah! Oh, shit, okay. Oh, I didn't even mean to mark that fool. I don't know that it's doing more damage. It makes me feel better, though, so that's kind of all that matters, I think. Okay, so that worked pretty well. I could read the manual. Yo, look at that, dude. Okay. Nice little safe spot there. Oh shit, that was a bad move. Yo, we got behind him. I kind of just tanked him a little bit. <laughs> Mission three. Pretty easy so far. I'd imagine there's like a difficulty spike. In most arcade games there is. This would be sick to have uh, an arcade cabinet of though. Yo, that bike just exploded.
Uh, I do have to say that this feels really good with the arcade stick. So I'm glad I, I went with that. I don't know what the S is yet. <laughs> okay, so the melee is sick. Buggy Hayabusa. Reuse buggy. Yeah, I'd imagine it's a special attack, but I don't know any way to... Ah, shit, I got it. Like I don't, it, I don't really have any active buttons for a special. Oh, dude! Oh, we got a triple boss here. My boy Rick Blue. Oh shit! Okay. That was piss poor. Oh, you fucker, come on. Try to input a shore you can. Not a bad idea. Uh, no quarter circle forward, it doesn't seem like. Fuck, dude. Oh, okay. Yo, he throws that. Uh, it's all three buttons at the same time. Oh shit. Get moving, fool. Oh shit. Can you? Okay. Oh. What the fuck, dude? How did I kill that guy, too? Oh, it, okay. It wasn't straight. So, yeah, it's all three buttons. <clears throat> Sure, you can was uh, a good call, was it? Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Fuck. Okay. Yo, that's powerful as shit. I mean, I hope it would be, right? I went right into that. Get out of there, fool. Is that Vega? Dodge. That was not the dodge that time. Just tank it. Tank it. Okay. Big wheel dragon. Oh, you cunt. Fucking went right into that. Ow. Damn, you gotta be spread out right there. Nice, okay. That was close. The slope. Dang, no health refills at the beginning of the stage. Classic arcade. Damn, these fools got some health. Oh, fucker. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, like Smash TV, something along those lines. Oops. 
like similar run and gun style. There's another really good game on Xbox Live Arcade called a uh, Zombie Apocalypse. That's very similar to this. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few bosses here. Snowboard Robo Rusher. Yo, I like it. I wonder what kind of attack he has. Okay. I ran out of screen. Oh, he ain't done yet. Oh, bombs. Yo, BT, there's 271 North American released um, Dreamcast games. Uh, there's like 500 exclusive Japanese ones. That's why I'm not even gonna try and act like... Oh, dude, I keep running out of screen. That's why I'm not even going to try to act like I'm going to collect all those, because that would be ridiculous. Nice skull, dude. I guess, uh, so you guys know too, I'm currently streaming, I started to mention it and then got distracted. Surprise, surprise. Um, with the Bahar Bros. Toro VGA box. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Flip? Um, and I'm running that through the open source scan converter. And then I'm just splitting the HDMI signal to my capture card. Um, and also to my, to a 42 inch LCD. So the OSSC actually uh, changed the, my setup completely because now I don't even play with a CRT anymore. Yo, what is this, dude? Yo, those Dodgers. Let's go. Damn it, dude. Get up. Okay, so... Yeah, it should be fun, dude. I mean, I really like Dreamcast, so... There's uh, definitely a lot of shit games uh, to a lot of people. You fucker. I thought I had him marked, but I was wrong. But, uh, yeah. It's got quite a library. Oh shit. Those guys slow you way the fuck down. Those patterns aren't hard. I'm just like getting hasty with them. Bad. So I'm fairly close to the end, I think, but I don't have any credits left either, so that's a thing. And I don't know that you get credits at all. Jesus, dude. Health for days. Life. Let's 
go. Wife, let's go. That melee cracks me up, dude. I love it. Just like a little kick. Special, nice. Okay. Keep dodging. Dual mech savage, boys. Savage. Jesus. Dude, come on, I can't tank that. I don't know what that was. I'm sure there's another boss, yeah. Insect Robo Overlord. Oh shit, okay. Ah, I went right into that. Attacker Antonio. Oh shit. Okay. I do like the. Oh shit. Game over. I do like that. Uh, there's kind of like a almost a shmup element in there. Where you have to dodge and all that kind of shit. Uh, let's go. We're going to go a little easier just so I can get a better flow of the game. I probably should have done that in the first place. But I didn't know what normal was going to be like. So, um, and Let's go. You know we got to go with my girl Cammie. Oh, she starts on a different level. Interesting. We'll hit Simone after this, dude. I wonder... I wonder what actually dictates... Um, what difficulty is? Is it just um, like enemy health, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know, though, because um, well, yeah, that's possible. I feel like maybe I'm doing more damage also. Okay. Holy shit. That does some serious damage. Uh, it, feel, it feels like the enemy patterns are definitely less aggressive. Um, it looked like the same number of... These bikes explode, dude, if you shoot them. There's some fancy bikes. Only in Japan, I guess. Oh, dude, she actually does a cannon spike. That's cool. I, 
kind of want to see. Here's these motherfuckers. Let's uh, let's do what what our boy Primus suggested. Let's take a peek at the old instruction manual here. Hmm. We are in 20XX AD. Take a peek. <clears throat> Doesn't really say shit, to be honest. So I'd imagine it's just, um, Yeah, it just says choose a difficulty level from baby to very hard. So I'm assuming that uh, <laughs> Yo, Jink, what's up, buddy? Thanks, dude. Scene change. Uh, I'm just playing the game while nobody's looking. I need to set it up so it's very small on that screen, so in case I do that. Because I do that all the time. Yes, it was. Yeah, dude, that's my goal anyway. The the only thing that I, I really need to do is define what beating all the games is. Like this game, for example. Do I have to beat it with every character? Um, do I have to beat it on every difficulty? Or can I just play it on baby with one person and call it a day? You know what I'm saying? What defines beating the game, I guess, is the question. Project Justice and Plasma Sword, nice. Um, I have Project Justice. I don't have Plasma Sword, but I've played it. Um, both sick games. Oh yeah, that uh, pattern was much less aggressive. Yeah, Primus, that's kind of my thoughts. I think it depends on how good the game is. If it... Because, dude, if that's the case, like, okay, you have to beat it with every character. Um, like, I could see myself beating this game with everyone if the stories change and shit, you know? Um, because, like, Schmucks, for example, okay, so... Let's say that I want to beat Gigawing with every character on every difficulty. Okay, that's fine, but in order to unlock the secret character, you have to 1cc the game. So, I mean, we're talking a shitload of time sunk into that game, which is okay if it's good. Um, but, like you guys said, it all depends. Yeah, what's up, Josh? How you doing, my dude? Because that's really the thing, too, is I'm not like, oh, I'm trying to be some perfectionist for Dreamcast. Like, I just want to play all the games and beat them all, you know?
I went the wrong way, believe it or not. <clears throat> but, I mean, in reality, like, this game is fun for sure. I feel like it'd be more fun with another person. Um, just the nature of the game would be cool. So I'm gonna have to hit up my dude Square Wave and get him involved. Um, but I don't feel the need really to like flex nuts and beat this game on very hard, you know? I feel like um, that is kind of like a weird thing that I'm not that involved in anymore. Um, like when I was younger, you know, it was like, oh, you beat the game on the best difficulty, you're the best at it or whatever, but I think especially from speedrunning, like there's so many metrics that measure if you're good at a game or understand a game. What's up, Ta? More so than beating it on the hardest difficulty, because really, how hard is PvE, you know? Okay, this boss is sick. <laughs> I only play. Oh shit. Okay, that's fair. Later. <laughs> that's amazing. Ah. Come on, dude. Yeah, Zombie Revenge is a really fun game. <clears throat> I agree. I have that one as well. I have a... I'd say I have a majority of, like, the good games. Um, basically, the way that I started collecting was to try to buy the more expensive and rare games first. So, like, I have most of the shmups. I think I have all the shmups now, actually. Um... And I have a majority... I don't think any game I need to buy still is over a hundred bucks. Uh, there might be a couple that are close. Um, like in the 60 to 80 dollar range. But for the most part, I've gotten the expensive stuff out of the way. And now is like the grind of collecting. You're just buying, you know, 200... 210 to 15 dollar games. <laughs> Uh, I've been updating my backloggery finally to like get it complete and up to date and I didn't realize like how much I had actually missed on it because um, earlier like in the month I was at like 400 games and now I'm at like 700 something and I still have to put my Nintendo 64 games in there up to date. Um, but that includes like my Steam games and shit too which I was kind of questionable about adding, to be honest. How much games are on DC? There's 271 North American releases. Um, I mentioned it earlier, but I am not collecting Japanese because there's like 500 Japanese exclusives. Like, it's fucking ridiculous how many there are. Um, they actually had official Japanese releases until like 2003. Like there's a shit ton of Japanese Dreamcast games. Uh, there's a guy named Adam Korlick who's done a, a big series on YouTube and he actually owns 
like all the North American, all the Japanese, all the developer shit, all the knockoff stuff. That fool is like, he has fucking everything. Um, I have a decent collection, Ta. Um, I can show it to you here in a second. Um, but yeah, I've, I'm, I don't collect as much as I used to, um, but I've been collecting for probably like 10 years. So fortunately, a lot of the games that I've wanted, I already have. Um, I've stumbled upon some really good deals uh, in the recent past. Um, like, I got a really good deal on Panzer Dragoon Saga just like two or three years ago. Um, so there's hope, man, if you still want to collect. Um, but not all exclusive, nice. That makes sense, dude. I can respect that. My thing with collecting is that I just like playing games. Um, and so I mentioned it earlier, but I definitely collect to play. And so that's like a, a way different mindset to have than collecting to collect, in my opinion. Um, and I know people that do both. And I don't think there's anything wrong with either. But uh, especially with Dreamcast, that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Because, um... Ah. Um, I, I really just like the Dreamcast. And I wanted to collect all the games because I enjoy playing them. And this kind of is a way for me to, to archive and play through all the games while I collect them, you know? But I used to collect NES, and I used to have like 150 NES games, but now I have like 70, and I've been slowly just getting rid of all my NES stuff, because I've realized that I don't give a fuck about collecting NES. Um, I'd like to collect more Super Nintendo stuff than I currently have, because I kind of grew up with Super Nintendo more than with NES, and I think that's probably why I don't care so much about collecting NES. Yo, VH, what's up, man? Yo, Revenger Balrog is back. Revenger Balrog, aka fucking Vega. This has to be Vega, dude, right? I mean, there's no way this isn't Vega. Look at these fence jumps and shit. Get out of there! Oh, that's what the melee is for, Dun -dun. Nice fucking melee. Check this out. Get fucked. Yo, who is this dude? Look at this dude! Revenger Kabuki. Ah. I want to get these guys in there so I can kind of snipe them too. Ah, I ran right into that shit. I used a lot of special on him, but... <clears throat> Deep Shrine. Yo, what's up? Cat Lady Beauty? Okay. Okay. Oh, dude, she dodged my fucking special. Okay. Ow. Oh, come on. I didn't dodge that. I want to cannon spike this bitch. Didn't work. Didn't work as planned. 
Dude, that fucking snipe. So I'd imagine the higher difficulties do way more damage, too. Come on, man. I can't, I keep missing the mark. Oh, okay. That was a good special, though. Set me up. Damn, that was a lot of fucking damage. I don't. I'm trying to mark him. But I keep missing. Damn, son. Okay. Oh, those explode. That's what that is. I miss that every time that those were exploding. I'm about to die. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. Now shit's free, though. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, learn to play. What are you doing with your life, dude? Wow, those uh, really don't hit him, do they? Second form for sure, there's gotta be. Final mission, here we go. Metal Blade Knight. Yo, what are those things that Jean's always building? Gundams or something? This looks like one of those, doesn't it? I don't even really... Wow, dude. How did I get him, like, immediately in, uh, kind of a fucking troll pattern? I mean, I don't mind it, but I like it. <laughs> Flame Robo Knight. Oh my god, the lag, dude. That is one of the first times I've ever experienced lag like that on a Dreamcast. I'm just not quite sliding over far enough. There we go. Okay, so that pattern is literally like, just keep moving. It's harder to see that way. A trimmer, what's going on? Meow. <laughs> this place is very dangerous, let's go. Kia! Damn, that explosion. <laughs> Are you alright, kitty? Meow. Yo, sick. Hmm. Bullet hell feels like artificial difficulty. Well, the thing with Bullet Hell is it's kind of like um, like a Mega Man game where the pattern's always the same and you just have to understand how to avoid it. Whereas in Mega Man, the enemy spawns are always going to be the same and you just have to know how to avoid them. Yeah, Mace, one of the most top tier stories of all time. I wish my chat wasn't uh, so dumb. Oh yeah, uh, Mega Man is in this. There we go, that's better. It's less cut off. Uh, Mega Man is like a secret character, I think. Thanks, BT. So, um, here's the story, as we know it. 20XX AD. A troubled economy wreaks havoc on the world. Terrorism is rampant. With warfare spreading to every city, people live in constant fear. 
To combat the terrorist robot soldiers, the World Union for Peace organizes a special force equipped with specialized motor, motor boots for ultimate mobility. It is up to this anti-robot special force to enter into battle and rid the world of the robot menace. The future needs you. So, yeah. 